All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our next bout of the evening, scheduled for three rounds in the featherweight division. Please welcome first, fighting out in the blue corner, representing Strike Zone MMA and fighting out of Griswold, Connecticut, Randy Francis! Randy Francis fighting out of Team Strike Zone. Randy Francis has been training really hard this past past few years. Um, as said earlier, Randy's uh, head coach Daryl Mackerel couldn't make it tonight. He's um, he got major neck surgery and uh, he'll be watching from home. I'm glad to hear he finally got that neck issue addressed. He's in some pain tonight, but he's and still doing good. And now please welcome fighting out of the red corner, representing Carlson Gracie, Connecticut, and fighting out of Marble, Connecticut, Mike Piancentini. Both fighters look ready for this three three-minute rounds. Kip Kolar has promoted over 100 MMA events. When he said he's never been more excited for an event, he means it. This fight is going to be great. Here we go, second match of the evening. Randy looking to attack those legs. Randy aggressive against the fence here. It's very hard to out wrestle a team strike zone fighter. Mike's doing a good job defending the takedown, but Randy's Randy's throwing hard here. One of the big things with Team Strike Zone is they train a lot of wall work, so Randy's no stranger to this. He's been training hard, he's been working to get the takedowns, and he's successful here. Mike looking for a potential Americana. Mike absolutely down, but far from defeated. Got Mike. Randy's arm locked up here, but Randy's Looking to uh, escape. Great job on Mike for getting that figure four in place. Just didn't have enough position to make it count. Very, very tough position trying to work the guard when you're stuffed up against a fence. For those of you not familiar with the unified rules of mixed martial arts, those up kicks to the face are legal, but it's not legal to stomp down. Mike landed some ground and pound from the bottom. 
But Randy's looking to stay heavy and land some ground and pound of his own. Passes the side control here. Very interesting to see what Randy tries to do with it. Is he going to try and further position, go for submission or strike? Just answered nice. that. Wow. The ref, the ref stops Looks it. Like the referee With stopped three it. Three seconds left of the match. Very, very smart strategy from Randy. Knew there was short time. Gave it everything he had with his hands. Beautiful, beautiful ground and pound. For those of you believing the. No. Losing fighter might have been able to hang on for three more seconds. It's not the referee's job. Referee is looking to see whether the fighter on bottom is intelligently defending himself and is also in danger. Both those elements were present. Referee stopped the contest. It's been a real honor to watch Team Strike Zone evolve over the years from, from primarily a wrestling based team, adding striking, and now incredible submissions as well. Absolutely one of the dominant teams in New England. Randy has definitely become a, a well rounded fighter over the years. He started off with uh, mostly a stand up background, but he's been working hard. His submissions, his wrestling, and it's showed today in this fight. Props two to Mike, showed a lot of skills, just wasn't enough tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, with two minutes and 59 seconds into round number one, your winner via TKO, Randy Francis! That's Daryl. I'm with our winner here, Randy Francis. Randy, you talk about coming close to the wire here. Two minutes and 59 seconds of round one. One second left and it was called off. So what do you have to say about the fight? Well, I, I saw Kip talking about saying it was gonna be some first round knockout. So I wanted to make sure I came through with that promise, you know? Amen, brother. You, you performed as you said. Good job, congratulations, brother. Can I just give a shout out to uh, my coach, Daryl? Um, my dad and all my friends, the Strike Zone family, um, Thornton's MMA for letting me come down and train with them, and everybody who came out, even the people booing me, thank you for coming out. <laughs> Have a good night. Man knows how to work Thank you, congratulations again. Being able to talk on the mic like that is actually a valuable skill in combat sports. Great kid, great future. Great credit to his coach.